Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? And next we are and I am actually installing this clutch in this Toyota VVTi engine and first we need to inspect all of these clutch parts. What is this? This clutch. We need to measure thickness of this clutch uh, material in this this area and then we need to inspect also this clutch cover especially these areas in here and also that metallic opposite plate okay and before of that work I recommend that we install this engine in this kind of position that now there is this fly feel it is in up and this engine is like in different position and I look this different view also okay and now this engine is like in in horizontally and those cylinders are in this line okay and why I have installed that in that position reason is that that we need to quite soon set up this clutch in that area and that's the reason and of course in that position keep this oil oil sump in empty that the oils don't dry in ground okay and here we have this fly feel and what we need to do in this fly field when we check, we need to a little bit use this sandpaper and do in here this resistance in that way. And then when we when we have made that, we can we can notice in here this small pump in here that this area is lower than that one. And I I take then closer view. And I am leaning in this area in here. And this means that this line in here, that line is our measure point. And quite soon I am planning to install this clutch in there. And, and then we can check that this clutch, this outer area, is just in very near of this police metallic plate. This is very nice, this adjusting area. And then other important information that in this Toyota when we install these parts, this clutch goes only in one way in here. If we install that in, in this way, then this clutch don't move. And it is and the right way is that that there is this 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 area what is little bit little bit upper there is that kind of size and this upper area this is little bit thicker and there are those bolts to bolts to this is down area and this is thinner and then this little bit thicker area what is in upside down it goes up. Okay. And then I need to inspect this this clutch that is this clutch okay. And there was this there was this minimum rate that there should be at least this 0 0.4 millimeter this material. Okay, and then we go to measure this Clutch material thickness, and I insert the tool in there, and then I insert that in down. Now it's in there. This thickness, and let's check the result. The result is that there is a little bit more than one millimeter. There is a little bit 
five millimeter this lower scale and then this upper where this line connects this upper line it is 1.5 millimeter and this means that, that this clutch is okay good and then this opposite side too and there is also in the same amount of material and that means that we can use this clutch and then we need to inspect this this next part and there is a couple of things what we need to check okay and then we check this clutch cover area and there is first and most important area is this central area and in that area we need to check that that how bad are what is this teeth situation this metallic teeth these parts in here and in that area firstly all of these teeth must be un, unbroken that there can't be any any teeth broken if some of these are broken then we need to replace this clutch cover and then if if some of these teeth has been bent like in this way in down then also we need to replace this cover and here all of these are okay and then final step that, that is there any big holes in these teeth that upper area and just in here and there we can see small holes in there and let's check those closer and and actually and when we look those closer, I take closer view. Okay, now we have closer view. And these lines in here, there is very small line. And if you could measure that they are even little bit like like half millimeter or one millimeter deep, then we need to replace this this clutch cover. And, and that kind of glitch, there is small burn out, but, but this is first signal that something has been happened. I, I believe that this clutch is there is mileage something like 50 or 70,000 miles and this may makes that kind of uh, marks and if we have mileage like 200,000 miles then we have a little bit even bigger holes in here these holes. But these are okay and that inspection is fine and we continue and next inspection is to rotate this this uh, this cover and then we need to check this metallic these areas and if we find in here any any holes or fractures or any any blue areas then we need then we need to immediately change and replace this clutch cover but now when we check in these areas they are very very nice steel steel in all areas and this third check is fine and, and then we can start to install this clutch in next